uh, what do we call this again? I've already forgotten. Play Constance with me. Play with fresh. Play with me. Hello, everybody. Welcome to play with me. To both of you who are watching, we're we're very pleased to have you both here. Um, uh, six. May, maybe more for next. Oh, six! Wow. Okay, I'm very excited. Are, are you guys there. watching this as well? Like I as, mean, as five, because then it would probably I, just be one person. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not either. Oh, um, three people. So yeah, this is this is the first in a hopefully weekly um, uh, little little one shot uh, role playing uh, uh, sort of a gaming session. We're going to have different um, different people running every week, different systems, different themes, different ideas. We're going to take on different characters every week. That's very much the the vibe. What we're going for. We'll let everybody introduce themselves in just a moment. But we're going to talk very briefly about the game we are playing. The game we are playing today is going to be Jason Statham's Big vacation it's a one page one shot rpg uh, about four uh, of jason statham's hangers on his entourage his uh, his retinue trying to make sure that jason statham has a really lovely time on holiday he gets very sad very easily uh, he gets very depressed very easily and sometimes he calls his mum played by helen mirren um so we are gonna what uh, yeah so that's that's the game uh we're gonna let everyone introduce themselves as human beings first um we might have a rotating guest of, of characters as well a rotating group of guests that is week by week as we decide that you know some of us aren't funny or some of us aren't interesting uh and and then we'll, we'll just see what happens and that's 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 have fun this is very much a test run this week if you guys want to get in chat let us know anything that isn't working anything you think we could be doing differently or better if you think that glenn uh should probably never come back then we will very much listen to that one in particular uh glenn why don't you introduce yourself first as a person not as a character we'll come to that later hi i'm glenn <laughs> <laughs> get rid of him yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then we'll make we'll make our way along. Um, Mr. Benison. Uh, yes, uh, I'm Mr. Benison, James. Uh, I'm uh, trying to furiously make sure the tech is working. Um, and I think, just fun fact, there's a 30 second delay um, <laughs> in the streaming. Um, so if you can't see me or hear us, just blame me. We we will. We will. I know you will. Yeah. Uh, Tim. Yes. I like that you said that in a way that you couldn't remember my name when it. It's, nah, it's just so strange for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my, I'm Tim Goose. <laughs> if you need a surname, um, yeah. yeah, I'm Tim Goose. Hi, I'm here <laughs> to judge James from afar and uh, be the lesser of two Tims. Uh, Nonny. Hi, I'm Nonny. Uh, I'm a spooky nerd. Cool. And Nonny is sponsored by Gordon's Gin today. Yeah, it's fine. I, I'm sponsored by various tins, so it's fine. Hey, depending how quickly I get through them, I may be sponsored by Wicked later. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's a good night. Really? Let's get, let's get the 21 year old audience in. I like it. Um, and then, yeah, Wait, so. 16. <laughs> I, I, started, I started late on the alcohol. Um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I, I'm going to be running today's session. I am your uh, state and master. My name uh, is Tim, as as Tim Goose alludes to. There are two Tims on this stream. There's also another Tim living in my house at the minute. So there really are an absolute preponderance of Tims in my life. Um, uh, so I'm going to be your state and master. Uh, as I said, the, uh, the the objective of today's game is that all four of our intrepid people will be playing uh, various members of uh, Jason Statham's retinue he is going on holiday he's gone on holiday to the lovely city of paris he's just wrapped up filming um in in france and has decided to take a little city break to the capital before catching the train back home to see his wife and kids in london uh, for a christmas holiday uh now the the, the rules to jason Statham's big vacation are available um on online will if this becomes a thing that's left on the internet we'll make sure there's a, a link to it in the description um but it's all on one thing. I, as, I, as the state of master, I had to roll for four separate um, scenes, uh, four separate places. James, uh, Jason Statham's going to go on his holiday, and four different things that the his rival, the the very hated Wesley Sniper, is um, is going to try to do some things that he's going to try and throw in the way to make sure that Jason Statham has a terrible time. The rules are very simple. It's all based on a on a D twelve system. Uh, Every time somebody wants to do something with the risk of failure, they're going to roll a d12. We haven't yet technology got away for you to see what that is, so I'm going to we're going to do an honor system, um, and people are going to roll it and just tell me honestly what they have. 
on a four or less, they succeed. Otherwise, they fail and something bad is going to happen. Uh, all of the characters, and we're going to go through the skills that the characters have, uh, but all of the characters are going to have a set of skills. Uh, and those skills will be from sort of five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine. And if they've got a skill that's applicable, they can try and roll under that skill instead. Um, anytime anything bad happens to make Jason Statham's life a bit difficult uh, and make sure his holiday might get a little bit closer to being ruined, I'm going to roll a d3 and I'm going to add that to one of four separate tracks to mark how sad he is, how dead he is, how arrested he is or how bored he is. And in each of those situations, if he gets eight points added to one of those four tracks, then a, he's going to break down in some way or nearly die uh, and they're going to have one last chance to try and save Jason Statham's holiday from total destruction. Um, really simple rules. Uh, we're just going to we're just going to jump right into it and have a have a really good time. So let's take each person's turn. We're going to find out who is going to be trying to save Jason Statham's holiday. Uh, let's start with uh, Glenn. Uh, Glenn, why don't you give us a little backstory about who you are playing today and what he is capable of doing? Hi, so I'm uh, I'm Jason Statham's agent. My name is uh, Dirk McFury. I'm I'm actually something of an aspiring action movie star. Um, haven't really got that far with it yet, but I, I figure it's never too late. Um, I've known Jason for a long time, and uh, he's helped me out a lot in my career. He uh, he actually promises that he's going to put me in the next Fast and Furious film. Um, <laughs> he, he he did promise that back when the second film came out, but there's not been that many, has there? I'm, I'm sure it'll. I'm sure it'll be soon. Um, he did actually get me a role as an extra in uh, in the film Crank High to Crank Two High Voltage. Um, you might see me in it. I was a scared man number four. Um, so you know, check that out. Um, my main role uh, for Mr. Statham is uh, I source drugs for him. To be honest, um, <laughs> you know, he's got to have a good time. He gets bored very easily. Um, and you know he knows I'm always holding. Um, I've always always got a large stash for, um, you know, for for my friends, obviously. Um, yeah, that's about it. So just a just a very briefly there, uh, Glenn's Glenn's three skills that he's going to have available to him. Dirk McFury's three skills is Statham Law. Uh, so he's very knowledgeable about Jason Statham. He also has the skill Failed Actor. Uh, and the skill narcotics. So those are those are uh, Dirk McFury's skills. Um, Nonny, why don't you talk me through your character? Um, so I am Janet Lane. I am. Uh, Sorry, the... I'm going to interrupt. I'm going to interrupt. You, you have to introduce the cat. Oh, we, we've, <laughs> we've glossed over it, but the, it, please introduce Epsilon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so Epsilon is my kitten um, and he is an absolute little asshole. <laughs> um, who will probably be making an appearance anytime I need to roll dice because he is very, very interested in them. Fantastic. Sorry. Sorry for the interruption, Noni. Please continue. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I, I am Janet Lane. I am uh, Jason Statham's security. Um, I used to be a nursery school teacher, but I decided that trying to wrangle uh, celebrities and their fans would create a bigger challenge. Um, and I fully see myself as a hard-boiled action hero. Uh, and I don't really care about whether or not, like, stopping things kicking off. I just want to make sure that I'm the one that finishes them. <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, and again, so Noni's, Noni's three skills that she sent through to me are uh, these hands are weapons. That's one of her skills. The second is these weapons are also weapons. <laughs> and the third skill is uh, extraction. Um, uh, Tim Goose, why don't you uh, why don't you throw uh, throw your character at me? Ah, hello, hello, hello. I am Claude Eurostar. I'm a travel agent, I'm third generation, of course. My father, you might have heard of him, and his father, Joseph Eurostar. He started holidays by Eurostar. Unfortunately, in the 90s, a train company threatened us with legal action, so we had to change our name. We changed it to my father's name. He is called Piando. Holidays by Piando. Apparently, there is a ship, and the ship threatened us with legal action. So mm -hmm. then my father, he changed it to Holidays by Claude. So I didn't really have any choice in the matter. Here I am. Uh, I, of course, met uh, Jason Statham on the... Um, on the set of the film The Meg, or as we call it in France, Le Meg. Uh, 
and you know, we eat it off. And so I said, hey, buddy, come over to France. I'll show you around. And I'm hoping that the celebrity endorsement will give my industry a little uh, shot in the arm, I would say. Thank you. Wonderful. I, sorry, the, the, how you say at the very end, like a sort of <laughs> budge, the, the, you're the first part of a Poirot speech. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, Claude Urstas, uh three skills are going to be local knowledge, uh, follow me, and extreme sports for some reason. But fantastic. Uh, and then finally, James, let's um, let's please introduce your character. Um, my, my, so my character is called uh, Mel. Mel Practice. Uh, he is a lawyer and apparently a character from a murder mystery <laughs> set that you can buy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it's not—it's not the most original pun. No, I—I I googled that ten minutes before we started. I'll be honest. Oh, very good. Um, okay, yeah. I'm glad you put the effort in. Thanks. Uh, he's a lawyer, obviously. Uh, he went to school with Jason Statham, um, uh, but he was kind of kept in the group uh, mostly so that everyone could take the piss out of him because his name was Melanie. Um, uh, as he grew older, he got into um, family law, mostly kind of divorces and things. But then Jason Statham insisted that he become his lawyer, um, despite the fact he has very little experience in celebrity law. Is that even a thing? I don't know. Neither does Mel. It's so <laughs> um, essentially Mel just follows him around and, and tries to pretend that he knows what he's doing. And he researched the character by also knowing nothing about law. <laughs> yeah, I, he knows he's never seen any of Jason's films, <laughs> much like me, <laughs> um, and just follows him around, um, essentially being bullied, I think. Uh, very nice. OK, so James's three skills are going to be uh, law law as opposed to Statham law, uh, spin doctor and uh, eye for detail. If, so I said there's going to be, if the one be four song, scenes. That one song by Spin Doctor comes in to this game. We're golden, guys. I, I, the, the, now, now it's me who doesn't know what's going uh, on. Other Tim, <laughs> go. I can't sing it. It'll get copyright <laughs> infringement. I don't yeah, think we right. will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. very good. If, if content ID watching. picks up on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, turn that radio down. <laughs> my my my, sis, my sister's boyfriend is actually a a, a, a music lawyer. He, he's a lawyer in the music industry, and <laughs> like, I I'm sure we'll be fine. Is, is he Tim. watching this stream? I have no idea. I uh, probably not. Is the answer statistically unlikely? He's he he has a life, James. Oh oh, <laughs> yeah. But well, that's the first the first rule of broadcast: insult your audience. <laughs> Uh, right, so yeah, uh, let's let's get kicking off. Let's not uh, hang about. Let's not let's not mess around. Uh, we are gonna. This is a this is a Jason Statham holiday, so it's going to be run exactly like a Jason Statham movie. So uh, we are sitting inside a sweet. When I say we, I mean we, the audience, are sitting inside a sweet shop with the camera looking at the door, and suddenly, bam, the door gets kicked in. Jason Statham strides straight through. Where's my fucking sweets? Quick cut. You four all in a helicopter. Who's flying it? Claude. Yeah, yeah, me. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, so, do you do you know how to do you know how to fly a helicopter? Uh, yes. Extreme sports. <laughs> In my phone, it's just you know, I have a, a helicopter on the side. It has great big letters Eurostar, and then I got crossed out, and I have like Claude <laughs> underneath. Um, so this is your personal helicopter that, that they're flying. Is, yeah, in the 60s, we were very um, uh, popular, less so now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <we're>, just, <laughs> just, just to be, just to be clear, just holiday. to be clear that Jason Statham's gone on holiday and you have asked your parents to send you their personal helicopter. Yes. OK, fantastic. Good to know. Uh, right. Let's let's roll to see if you can actually fly the thing. I'm using follow me. <laughs> OK, I, I thought you'd use extreme sports, but OK. <laughs> I mean, I'm less good at that. Anyway. I <laughs> Um, I failed. <laughs> you failed. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I mean, any any fantastic action movie does have to begin with a helicopter full of all the protagonists crashing. So that seems really <laughs> appropriate. So um, great game. Uh, so do we crash sadly, through the front door? Your heli your helicopter is hit by a rocket launcher from somewhere very far away. <laughs> that the Wesley sniper has had his way with you. Uh, you it hits the very tail of your helicopter, and you are sent into a deathly spin. Ah, ah 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 ah! Can I um, help with my spin doctor skill? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you're going to have to allow it. I mean, are, are, are you asking if you can talk the helicopter down? 
Yes. There we go. I'll take it. Right. There we go. Between us, we come with two puns and a skill. Thank you. Um, no helicopter. Not this way. Go the other way. This is the way they do it south of the equator. We're in the northern hemisphere. I don't know. All right. Sorry? Yep. That's good. Yep. What do I have to roll below? Uh, seven, please. I got six. Hey, okay. <laughs> so somehow, somehow, malpractice talks the helicopter down. Uh, and you're you're very luckily you you land uh, just in the next arrondissement over from the sweet shop where Jason Statham is currently currently looking for the best collection of candy he can find. Uh, so, guys, how are you going to get? How are you going to make your way over to the uh, to the sweet shop, knowing knowing where he is, obviously. First of all, I just want to make sure that this won't affect anyone's TripAdvisor reviews. <laughs> okay, um, <sighs> right, so. Uh, okay, well, there's nowhere particularly nearby that, other than you know your your, your standard uh, boulangeries and your standard um, uh, I don't know brothels. So you're you're, you're you're in the Rue de Bourgogne. Uh, that's why they're. Uh... Not any any brothels that are too out there. Is that yeah, where? No, yeah. Has has Claude just crash landed the helicopter in a brothel? No, near near a brothel. Near a brothel. Near, that's better. It's, it's, it's Paris. Throw a stone, mate. Okay. <laughs> so I, I live in a glass house. <laughs> that is the creepiest thing I've heard there's you say. A, there's a joke in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll work. Um, I have realised that that Epsilon is now on my lap, but like just below. Yeah, screen. we can all, we can see him. Don't worry, the ears are poking out. Ear, Does it look yeah. like you're doing anything else? Yeah. <laughs> um, He's chewing me. So yeah, guys, you've got a few streets to uh, to move over to make sure that the Wesley sniper doesn't uh, doesn't derail Jason Statham anymore. He's obviously going to be making full use of the time that you're away from him to try and uh, ruin Jason's holidays. How are um, you going to make your way over? Mel's quite dizzy at the moment um, from the crash, so he's just yes. taking a breather uh, and letting. I'm, I'm going to say to everyone, uh, guys, in my uh, in my acting career, I uh, I uh, learned how to be. You know how to how to take on a role and to be uh, inconspicuous. So I say, you know, we we act like we're just sort of kids going to the sweet shop. You know, Wesley Snipes will ignore us. Doesn't want to shoot children, presumably. Okay. I'm wearing a suit. <laughs> I, it, one thing I will You're say. A very smart child. Uh, I did I did forget to to mention this in the preamble. The Wesley Sniper doesn't want to kill anybody. He's not a murderer. He's merely a tax evader. Uh, and so he won't be murdering anybody, but he will be using his sniping ability to ruin the holiday. Just, just, just so we're clear. I just want uh, to say that it did feel like that was a murder attempt on us. <laughs> Can you non-lethally shoot down someone's helicopter? I mean, I, I don't know. He just, he just did, guys. Wow. <laughs> Thanks to my spin doctor skills. <laughs> uh, let's let's steal some delivery bicycles from the. The bakers. Um, uh, my as local a, knowledge to get us to the sweet shop. As a lawyer, I do not condone these actions, but as Jason Statham's friend, let's do it. Sounds good to me. Uh, between uh, somebody with local knowledge, yep, that's you, um, Claude. If you could, if you could roll and see if you find a local baker with some little little bicycles with a bell on, is that what you're yeah. going for? Or two I'm, tandems. Two. <laughs> that's very. That's very <laughs> French. I rolled a five and I had to get a seven. That's work. great. Fantastic. So uh, just around the corner, there, there is a, a little boulangerie, uh, a lovely little boulangerie. They're selling um, beautiful potatoes. Um, and you find two tandems. Thank you, James. Uh, hiding around the back. Now, you are obviously going to be doing major harm to the local economy as they are required to deliver bread and wine to um, the people of the uh, deuxième arrondissement. But uh, if I can just interrupt are, for two to seconds. Them. Sorry, Tim. Um, we've had a complaint on the chat um, that Claude's lost his accent. Um, <laughs> Claude <laughs> is actually a fan favourite at the moment. Well, okay. I'm so sorry, I will bring it back. <laughs> Look, no, we, we need all the views we can get, guys. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, so yeah, I'm, I, we're not gonna we're not gonna dally uh, around getting to the the, the sweet shop because that's where Jason Statham is, and Jason Statham is currently standing at the till asking the man behind the counter for help. Are you guys gonna make your way in? Oh yeah, yeah. So so you're greeted at the door. Uh, Madame, Messieurs, uh, it's uh, very good to see you here at a lovely uh, sweet shop. Uh, 
what can I do for you? The man at the door is asking, is, uh, is there ready to take your jackets and coats? It's a very upmarket sweet shop, as you'd expect from a celebrity. Um, I, I, for detail, I'm looking around for danger because I, I expect danger all the time, ha having uh, roll, been bullied roll, by roll, Jason for so long. Roll, roll me a, a D12, six or less. No, no, no. Was that a fail? Yeah, they've got an eight. Oh, okay, so um, every every everything looks exactly as you'd expect to find a, a sweet shop. There are there are little candy canes in the in the Christmas display. There are there are little sweets in the uh, little chewy sweets in the chewy display. Uh, there there are there is a, an entire gummy Venus de Milo. I'm desperately trying to think of sweet based references <laughs> I can make, and that's as good as I can do. Uh, yes, it looks like a normal uh, a normal sweet shop to you, um, uh, Mel. Thank you. In that case, Mel is going to storm into the flying saucers and get as many as he can because he knows that um, Jason Statham loves it when you cut open the flying saucers to get the sherbet out of them and it looks like he's doing cocaine. Uh, uh, Dirk, can you uh, roll Statham Law for me or Narcotics, whichever is higher? Um, I don't have a dice, but you can roll for me. Uh, Statham Law is an eight. Okay, yeah, you pass. Uh, so you ha you happen to know that Jason Statham absolutely does fucking love it when he looks like he's doing cocaine. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so just so you're aware, that's that's very much the uh, the start of it. Now I'm going to roll a couple of dice back here. I'll just roll. There's one, and there is the other. Um, so Jason Statham, obviously, as a, as a holiday goer, has a bright yellow backpack, as all uh, holiday goers do when they are going around Europe. If you've ever um, been to Europe, you'll see them often following somebody with an umbrella held up. I find it very strange. Um, uh, and out, all of a sudden, Jason Statham's backpack uh, doesn't explode, but puffs out everywhere. And a, a, an enormous amount of white, uh, white powder um, goes flying absolutely everywhere. Glenn, I'm going to roll a dice for you. I don't need to roll a dice. We all know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, Dirk doesn't, because he's rolled a 12. <laughs> so, oh, no. Uh, Dirk's had a lot of his own stash. <laughs> so to everybody else, it is very, very, very clear that the Wesley Sniper has managed to shoot open Jason's big bag of cocaine. That's what I rolled for on the... Uh, on the... Oh. <laughs> I don't think this happened this time. Um, Guys, so... let me spin Doctor the hell out of this. So the... <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Uh, so what are you actually going to do or say to somebody I go before Jason gets too distraught? Oh, don't worry, Jason, me old pal. Your lemon sherbet has just spilt everywhere. But this shop is full of lemon sherbet. Mmm, delicious lemon sherbet. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> so the man, the man behind the... The man behind the counter says, excuse, excuse me, monsieur, you're, you say you're trying to smuggle in uh, lemon sherbet into a sweet shop? We were, we, were, we were not smuggling it in. I'm Jason Statham's lawyer. I don't have a card, but I had a button that just came out of my pocket. <laughs> here's, here's my button. Uh, we were hoping to sell you some lemon sherbet in Jason's uh, new business, Statham Sherbet. <laughs> nailed it, nailed it. So, <laughs> so at this point, Jason State can I tell you what, roll roll a roll a dice of spin, Doctor. I think we'll we'll let you do that. I got a two. Okay. Okay, so Jason Statham is giving you a very angry eye right now. Um, um and then I, I, if he does because that you're offering to sell his cocaine at the price of Sherbert. Uh, I I say <laughs> then I say, obviously we can't sell all this Sherbert from the floor, so come on, Jason. And then I just put a handful <laughs> in his face. Uh <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> so Jason Statham just nuzzles into it like he's a like he's a donkey. <laughs> just absolutely goes to town on it. Uh, so, <laughs> um, I, I, if if there was any chance of Jason Statham being bored at this point, if I'd, I would have taken some off of it because because obviously you're often a lot less bored when you've taken a, a, an amount of cocaine that would make Scarface jealous. Mm. But. Um, <laughs> Uh, instead, uh, I'm so glad I, um, I didn't send this link to my mother. <laughs> <laughs> it gets, it gets, um, weirdly, it gets less bad as it goes on. I think um, this is. I, I would I, like I, to. Um, I would like to just utilize this distraction to fill my pockets with licorice <laughs> because even though it is the worst sweet in the world, uh, the French love it. So just <laughs> licorice me up. Yum 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 yum. <laughs> okay, so. Um, uh, 
uh, uh, Claude licorices himself up. Um, can you? I don't know if you have any relevant skill. Can you just roll, roll a d12 and get and tell me if you get less than a four? I got a six. Okay, so you've 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 done very well at putting the licorice into your pocket, but not quite so well at the man on the door who wants to take your coat. Noticing uh, the bouncer, so, as you're doing, as the bouncer, the bouncer <laughs> is very the market. Bouncer, yeah. yeah, no, he's, he's the concierge, James. He's the concierge. Um, is that French for bouncer? <laughs> no, James. You're a very cultured man, James. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not yeah. just in a Jason Statham film, so not that cultured, clearly. <laughs> or stayed um, in a hotel. Can, can a what? Janet <laughs> attempts to. Uh, it influence the sweetie bouncer. Uh, um, what skill does she want? The to... other way. What skill does she want to use for that? Like uh, these hands are weapons. Oh, so she's gonna she's punch gonna him, punch the bouncer. <laughs> no, so the, not the bouncer, punch. the bouncer, Didn't the bouncer make it begins. Very, very clear say. that I could punch, and if I punched him, his head would fall off. So you sort of shadow box him, <laughs> just with distance. Just... I, would, I was more thinking intimidation, but I prefer shadow boxing. Okay, okay, so so. <laughs> Janet, Janet shadow boxes uh, the bouncer. The bouncer says, "Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, monsieur." Uh, obviously, you've already established yourself as French, um, Claude, and so you could speak yes. French and I could speak French to you. But the problem is, I don't. I think that neither of us speak any French. Uh, uh, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Je suis complètement bilingue. Okay, fine. That means uh, he's I, I, bilingual. I, I understood what that meant. Yeah, okay, just checking. <laughs> it's yeah, it's hardly the most difficult translation in the world. Um, when when uh, uh, other Tim and I did a show together, we once had literally only three people in the audience, and they only spoke French. So he translated the entire show for them, and I just was wow. left looking really confused. <laughs> so really, genuinely, I would wish I'd been there. I do too. I think we wouldn't have had um, to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and frankly, if people went to your shows, then you wouldn't be here. So, no. no. <laughs> oh, um, it's true. So, uh, uh, so as the as the excuse me, monsieur, these, these are not yours. These are not yours. Uh, he looks up at uh, Nani Shadow Boxing. Can you um, roll for me? These hands are weapons. Got a and three. The cat's ears perked up. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. um, it, he holds his hands and says, uh, uh, Madame, Madame, it is, I did not want to cause any difficulty, but uh, this is a crime. This is a crime, and I must call it in. And he starts to get his... Spin doctor! Phone. I, <laughs> okay. I didn't realise spin doctor was going to get so much use. I, I mean, I should have known. I, I've met all of you before. Um, <laughs> I, okay, I, I go... Jason, you keep looking at the sherbet, and then I get another pot, handful of cocaine and throw it in the other guy's face and shout, "Sherbet!" I am just, I'm just because it's it's constant drug taking and threatening to steal and beat things up. I'm just going to add a D3 towards arrested for, <laughs> for Jason's table. Oh, I forgot that was yeah, one of them. I, yeah, I, I don't think he's bored, and I don't think he's sad, and I definitely don't think he's any closer to death. But I will quite happily say that he's a little bit closer to arrest. Now, <laughs> I, I I have very successfully convinced everyone that this is Sherbert. <laughs> no, you have... Jason's you have not stolen anything. It's been clawed. He's, right now, he's an accessory. <laughs> That's for him. fairness, he's doing a lot of Sherbert in the middle. <laughs> oh, yeah, this Sherbert's absolutely lovely. That is my... He sound an accent. It's not a Jason Statham impression. <laughs> or is it? It's better than your French accent, Claude. I see he is there. So, yeah, what are you guys going to do? How, I, what, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing um, the cocaine into his face, shouting, um, Sherbert. And Sherbert. then. Sherbert! Oh, okay. And, okay, then, okay. and then shout, Extraction! Okay. Oh, do you want me to extract? Cool. Uh, yes, yes, please. Yes, please, Janet. Cool. That would be delightful, darling. <laughs> there's like, what, there's four of us, so I'm just gathering, going to gather up two two scruffs in each hand and just you barrel us all okay. out. You don't need to scruff me. <laughs> I will use my skill of extreme sports. Um, <laughs> out the window. So, so, oh, I thought you were going to skateboard out. Someone has described this in... Out on my roller skates made out of circular bonbons. <laughs> Someone in the chat has described this as Sweet Fighter 2. Love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. 
Well very done. good. Okay. Fantastic. Um, if, if Claude has another escape plan, I'm going to say I'm grabbing Mel and Dirk by the scruff and I'm giving Stathen a piggyback. Um, oh, very as, good. As an, ex, uh, as an expert at narcotics, uh, it's not necessary. I'm just going to dive into the sherbet and then once energized, run out very, very quickly. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm, Doug, I'm we need more there. sherbet. <laughs> I am coming. I've, I've got there. it, guys. You're, you're all good. I right, guys, if uh, right, uh, I am Dirk. If you can roll narcotics, I'll roll it for you. Yep, yep, you're fine. Uh, Mel, if you can roll spin doctor for me, let me know if it's a success. I was, I'm very happy to jump into Janet's arms and let her carry me. No, but roll <laughs> it anyway, just for me. Uh, I got a On 10. Spin doctor. Okay, that's a no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, Nonny, if you could, sorry, not Nonny. Um, Janet. Janet, if you could roll uh, extraction, that's a six or less. One. Very nice. Okay, we're going to come back to that. <laughs> and Claude, uh, your uh, skateboard made of bonbons and uh, uh, expired licorice that's gone hard. Mm. Um, that's a five or less. I've hit five exactly. Oh, <laughs> okay, fantastic. <laughs> so. Um, uh, yeah, Claude makes an, an extraordinary exit. Uh, I love Bunga! <laughs> <laughs> Janet, Janet, wrote, Janet wrote a one, right? You wrote a one? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, not only do you manage to, uh, to to get Jason Statham on your back while ushering uh, the other two out uh, by the scruff of their neck, he also uh, starts doing a little giddy-up motion as it happens, because <laughs> he has taken, and I really mean this very seriously, quite a lot of cocaine. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, is that the only one who's not taking cocaine at this point? Yeah, I think it's well. Uh, I mean, there was no reason for Mel to take the cocaine. Um, no, it just did. <laughs> or, or for Dirk. He's just, he's he's still just still an addict. Dirk, <laughs> you, you do successfully get some cocaine as well. So, I mean, we're... just loose cocaine in his hands. This is. This is. <laughs> I saved <laughs> as much as I could. <laughs> I love the idea of it like falling out, like <laughs> like a little stream, like a sand timer that's broken. Jason, bury your face before it's too late. <laughs> I did um, rather naively not expect there to be this much cocaine in this, I, this uh, game. Did anybody find out what um, sweets Jason Statham wanted? Uh, uh, yeah, he wanted the flying saucers. Um, did he get any? I've got the sweets Jason Statham wants. They're in my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get them at the shop. Um, I am going to... I'm gonna put a little bit two two markers on sad as well because he's not got the sweets he wanted because he, oh. he got he got the he got the stuff that looks like cocaine, but it was actually cocaine and some <laughs> stuff out of the flying saucers. It was know. very confusing for everyone. Yeah, so he's a little bit disappointed <laughs> that he's not got what he wants. Uh, but well done, you've got out and you've you've uh, you've dragged Jason uh, out with you. Uh, Jason eventually just... about seven hours of riding um, uh, Janet later he starts to come down uh, and. Tea. I just want to say that it was only at the point where you just went, I'm giving him a couple of marks in sadness because he didn't get the sweets. That I remembered what we're actually trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> a nice holiday. I was like, why are we in the sweet shop? What's going yeah. on? <laughs> My character seems to believe the key to a good holiday is just ploughing them with drugs over and over. I mean, that's my uh, good holiday, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I was about to make the same joke, but again, about James taking drugs. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I um, like that Tim, other Tim has got confused about like him having a good holiday, but that's literally all his character does, is make sure pe people have a good holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, don't mention this on your TripAdvisor review. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, eventually, yeah, like I said, six, seven hours later, it's it's uh, it's nearly dawn. Uh, nearly dawn? It's <laughs> sorry. Yeah, you were at a, a sweet shop at midnight. <laughs> um, you can do that in France. You can. They do. They do. They do have a. They have a. They have a later schedule, don't they? They don't. They don't get to work until eleven, and then they take four hour long lunches or whatever. They're probably um, used to people doing loads of cocaine in in them as well, probably. This is only shocking in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> We've got... I mean, I've I've worked in Paris, like I can I can attest. Um, so uh, yeah, so uh, eventually he, after riding, uh, I've got to find a different phrase. After riding <laughs> Janet like a horse uh, for hours and hours and hours while on holiday, uh, he uh, is Janet still he, carrying me in her arms. He eventually comes down and. Uh, uh, gets off and uh, and I mean that in the, the least innuendo way possible that's literally what's happened 
And James, if it, if it makes you feel better, you can imagine that any point that it's not explicitly stated that I am just cradling you like a baby. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mel's crying. Oh, <laughs> that that's yeah, very much one of the side effects. I've come down and started just get really existential. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what is what what specifically is uh, Dirk existential about? Uh, about how there are these barriers between us all. Mainly <laughs> that keeps the, just the, going on the, about the, it. The, the the peep show existential. <laughs> the peep show existential. Right. Yeah. Um, cool. So. Um, Having started to come down, started to feel a little bit tired, a little bit, you know, a little bit just, oof, he thinks, oh, what, what's going to, what's going to perk me up? What, what is, what is going to perk me up? I don't, guys, is there a banana boat anywhere nearby? There are banana boats nearby. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I mean, with my, with my, Mr. Statham, with my classic combination of local knowledge and extreme sports <laughs> I'm going to find the best banana boat. Alright, I'm going to let you I'm going to let you roll for uh, local knowledge, but we're going to call it a nine because your extreme sports is helping, so nine or less. What is the French word for banana boat? Uh, bateau no, banana? It's banana ca- boat. Catamaran, isn't it? Catamaran? <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought that was a much cleverer joke than, okay. <laughs> Um, I rolled as badly as it's possible to roll. Okay, cool. Um, cool. Yeah, I mean, this is Paris, so I mean, it, uh, banana boats aren't easy to find. Uh, I was really glad when I decided it was going to be set in Paris, and I rolled for scene two being banana with, boat. Uh, with my acting skills, can I attempt to just convince uh, Jason that a normal boat is a banana boat? Oh, I thought um, that was going to go a very different way. <laughs> Boat. Yeah, I thought I thought that as well. <laughs> I, I am a banana boat. Or, or, or I can drop a couple of tabs and roll to be the boat. Google what a banana boat is real quick. Uh, what I'm going to do... Oh, oh, okay, yeah, it's very important that you know what a banana boat is for this, Nolly. Uh, uh, no, what we're going to do is we're going to have an absolute smash cut to Jason Statham just suddenly just like waking up like he's he's had it gone. What's, you, you really are reacting badly, Nolly. What's... Is this a common thing? <laughs> You've yeah. really never been to Ibiza in the yeah. 90s. No, I've, I have not. Mm. There, you get on and then they drive you around and then eventually everyone falls off. That's the, that's the idea. Okay. So. What, what do you do when you fall off? Do they just leave you there? Yeah, often you get some quite severe injuries when you fall off as well and you bleed a lot. Then the sharks get you. Then the shark gets you. Okay. Um, it's, it's, how, it's how you give sharks their potassium. No, no one reacts. They, they, they all are <laughs> very quietly laughing. I'll have you know, Tim. How many, how many thumbs downs have just gone onto our video? Oh, we, we know, we know we've got, only. We've got to wait thirty seconds. We've got two likes. <laughs> um, that's two more than I've had this year. Uh, last year, I, I, I've, I can't make twenty twenty jokes anymore. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, smash cut. Jason Statham is lying uh, on the, the banks of the River Seine. Uh, and just wakes up just out of nowhere uh, and we've lost uh, him yeah you've lost him looks at looks over the river and down the river he sees a banana boat um you guys have somehow managed to find your way to a gondola just around the corner uh, <laughs> with claude going as this is uh so gone to, this is the banana boat um <laughs> So Jason Statham is, oh yeah, found myself a banana boat, going to make my way over there. And he is making his way over to the banana boat. You guys can see from a distance that on it is what looks to be like a hen party. There's a, there's a woman in a, in, a, in a bridal outfit. There's um, an obviously gay man dressed as a priest and then everyone else is dressed in... in James, you, you look... I'm just uh, I'm dreading where this scene is going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's, it's bringing yeah. back some flashbacks. What, to all the hen parties you've been on? Yeah, well, no, on the banana boats I've been on. Oh, okay. Right. With hen parties. Okay. I, I want to learn more about your background. I, I've, <laughs> I've got a very detailed background, but as Tim knows, don't don't go down that <laughs> dark <laughs> corridor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so Jason Statham is making his way over to the hen banana boat, hoping to snag the last place on the boat. Quick, everybody, get on the gondola. Chase <laughs> him down. Are you about to extreme sports us to the banana I boat? I am absolutely not allowing the extreme sports skill to be used to pilot a fucking gondola. 
No, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna use it, pilot it as if it's a canoe. <laughs> <laughs> just, what are you gonna use for a kayak sort of paddle? What are you gonna use? Um, <laughs> Dirk is a good actor. He could probably be I the stick. I can be a paddle. <laughs> I will I, uh, be rigid uh, in a straight line. It's just this is like something out of like whose line is it anyway? <laughs> I um I what I do is I get the big gondola stick. Okay. And I run it up. Sorry. Um, I get the bigger gondola <laughs> stick and I run it up Dirk's trouser leg and then up his back so that now he cannot bend over. So now he's <laughs> nice and stiff and wide. Oh I've got god! My hands and feet stiff cut. and wide. <laughs> and use him as a paddle, and that's how I'm going to speed us across the same while also making this noise. <laughs> or think he's going faster. Um, okay, um, I'll be going. Help can, me. <laughs> can, can, uh, 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 can you roll failed actor? For, oh, sorry, I'll, I will roll failed actor for you. Uh, okay, that is. You, uh, you failed to be a failed actor, which I think means that you've succeeded. I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you. Um, I have. You, well, my portrayal you, of a bit spent, of wood wasn't convincing. You spent so much time mugging off to the audience that you accidentally uh, swallow quite a lot <laughs> of um, uh, seawater. So I'm going to move. This is something I haven't mentioned yet, which is I'm going to move. You have three points in body for surviving and zero points in adrenaline. If you fail at something really weird, I can move a point off of body into adrenaline, and that then means that you have to add that number to any specific additional thing. So you now have one point in adrenaline, which makes you slightly worse at doing things. because you're one point drowned. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. There's a lot of um, people making uh, wooden acting jokes on the chat at the moment. Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> Annoyingly, I was waiting for Tim to be quiet so I could make one, but now it looks uh, like I'm copying them, so... <laughs> well, I mean, if chat have done, if chat and myself between us have done anything good in the world, it's that. <laughs> yes, I've wasted a lot of my life waiting for Tim to stop talking so I could say <laughs> things. Because you know so many Tims. I know, true. and they both love the sound of their own voices. <laughs> that, no, no, we love the sound of each other's voice. Yes, sure. Yeah, we shut up. <laughs> um, uh, okay, uh, yeah, uh, other Tim then. Uh, Claude, if you could, if you could roll four, I will allow extreme sports uh, for this. Well, but Lord knows if it that. fails. <laughs> An eight. Okay, um, <laughs> so you you do manage to start the gondola going forward. However, obviously, the people who are already using the gondola uh, that you've jumped onto, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, Wait, there's, and of there's other the people on here. Of course, there's other people on here. It's a gondola. <laughs> I thought we'd hired it or something. Yeah. They are not too happy, specifically the gondola driver. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. He's, he's, he's um, uh, Italian. Pan he's very much Italian. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> what the hell is going on here? I'm uh, Dutch for some reason. I'm going to use my uh, acting skills and say, uh, uh, bonjour. Uh, I am oh, the gondola underwater. driver. It is not you. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're on the wrong gondola. <laughs> so you're telling that you're telling a man who owns a gondola, and it's not it's not his gondola. He's 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 arrived for work in the morning and he's got. Uh, I'm gondola. gonna let you roll it, but if you fail, you swallow him all fucking seawater, man. The, the line between failed actor and Jedi is. Very <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not the gondola you're looking for. Yeah, um, uh, okay, you you just succeed so i'm going to suggest yes. i'm going to say that you you don't convince him it's not his gondola but you do convince him that you're crazy enough that he probably shouldn't try and get you off uh, so look, i mean i am half submerged do, in water and shouting at him do anything you like just don't destroy my gondola please it's my only source of income listen dutch man i will give you 20 euros if you can catch us up to that banana boat right now and some drugs uh, and some drugs <laughs> If you're into that, you're Dutch. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he's, of course he's into that. Um, uh, yeah, it's, a hard, okay. it's a hard life gondola driving. Uh, they often could... do turn to drugs. It's like chef. Yeah, if you could roll for roll for spin doctor for me, mate. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll. What do I get below? Seven. I got a seven. Yeah. Okay. Hey. So, uh, okay, let's go. Let's do this. Uh, he very, very slowly unthreads uh, 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 Dirk. <laughs> off at the end of his stick. The scarecrow. Um, yeah. 
Um, <laughs> I uh, just breathe very deeply. I'm, I'm guessing. I, I mean, does Claude step away from the bit where the, the punting is done? Does he? Is, is he willing I guess to? So. Yeah. <laughs> I realize I've failed, and I sit down. I, I've just, I've just noticed that the um the 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 decorations behind your head make it look like you're you He's know, a rabbit. Bunny ears. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Quite beautiful. Um, it's very nice. It's very nice. I'm just saying, it makes it makes you it makes you look more attractive. A bit like a horrifying flying snip. <laughs> All, that. All that. I'm going to catch him in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> My my um, head was trying to recreate Claire Danes's costume from uh, Baz Luhrmann's William R Shakespeare's Romeo Broadway. and Juliet. <laughs> um, Legs are in armor. As so you, <laughs> <laughs> as you make your way uh, over on the lovingly piloted uh, Dutch gondola in on, on the Seine, uh, you see. Um, uh, Jason Statham has not just made his way onto the, the banana boat, he's been allowed up to the front with, it seems, the bride, who is very excited to see a celebrity. There is, at, at, so at the front, you've got the gay man dressed as a priest, uh, and then behind you've got both the bride and uh, uh, Mr. Statham himself sharing a uh, the front bit, and then behind her, all of the um, uh, all of the uh, hens. Hens, thank, thank you, James. Um, does Jason Statham look like he's having a lovely time? On he thing? actually does look like he's having a lovely time. I don't know if you guys need to do anything. Yeah, uh, I think we just keep pace to keep an eye uh, on him. May, may I roll my, my looking around thing? I can't remember. Like the detail. Like yeah. detail. Yeah, six or less. Five. Uh, okay, you um, you hear the gay man, <gasps> uh, the gay the gay best friend who's dressed as a, as a priest, shouting, I now pronounce you... <gasps> ah! Um, Statham and wife. <laughs> Janet, quick, shoot that priest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I can, can't, I presume I have a gun. I don't know if guns are allowed in Paris. I don't know that you do. I think if you want to, if you want a ranged weapon, you're going to have to fashion one, I'm sure. Like Use the gondola pole. Use the weapons yes, that are going... also weapons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. No, I have a better idea. I want to leap from the gondola to the banana boat and just tackle the bride <laughs> off of the okay. banana boat. <laughs> okay, cool. I mean, in my head, you were further away than leaping distance. Um, but I'm going to allow it. And if you do fall, I mean, I hope you fall short, I'm not going to lie. But if you, don't, if you do succeed, you don't so much like jump from one to the other. You sort of jump, go underwater, and then a line of bubbles comes along, and then you come out like a dolphin <laughs> at the other end. I think that's the way I'm picturing it. Yeah. Um, yes. okay. I just hit my head on the ceiling doing a dolphin impression. I think, <laughs> I think that counts as these hands being weapons. I definitely think that counts as these hands are weapons, so I'm, I'm definitely allowing it. I got an 11. <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, you just, you just jump in the scent. <laughs> Uh, I am definitely moving a point off of body onto adrenaline for that one. <laughs> Belly um, flop. <laughs> I, like, I like it. Stop that reading. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> just, Johnny, what are you doing? <laughs> like, seriously, what are you doing? I've got an idea. I would like to uh, use my skills to um, get the boat that is leading the banana boat to follow the gondola instead of making its own path, thus letting us create a little bit of control over this situation. But also I'm hoping that the abrupt change in direction may cause some of the more inebriated uh, members of the banana boat to wobble off. And I would like to use my skill, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, do it, do it. I'm allowing it. It rolled off the table, <laughs> rolled it, and it was a four. Okay, right. Uh, so you successfully. Yeah, I'm just going to roll for the for the people on the on the boat. My first success. <laughs> <laughs> You're very uh, much stretching these skills. Uh, <laughs> at all uh, times, uh, Mel has got a trip advisor open on his phone, and he's just moving the star rating a little bit higher or a little bit lower. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, so um, I rolled from front to back in my head. Uh, two of the hens fall off, uh, as does the bride. Uh, yes. 
thankfully Perfect. both jason statham and the uh the priest stay on um as the bride falls in uh and jason statham sort of looks around and sees you guys uh he's realized that you have just ruined his very lovely banana boat experience um because they were just going through all of the you know the hen stuff before they were going to do it for funsies so i am going to even though you succeeded that check i'm going to add a little bit to board do we have a chance to stop that no oh. <laughs> board. Uh, of all of the ones that you could have picked board yeah, because he was he was hoping to to finish off this little role play he was doing with the the people, and you've interrupted it. He's not having fun. But in France, um, a gay man on a banana boat is a legally binding wedding. Well, <laughs> well, uh, so uh, at the point where he falls off, the um, I don't know where, not where he falls off, where the bride falls off, the bride shouts out, um, "What are you doing to me and my husband?" Uh, because she apparently is um, English and sounds extremely masculine. Yeah. Well, it's me, not extremely masculine. <laughs> what is she shouting that at us? Yeah. What? Well, yeah. What? Are, what are you doing to my to me and my husband? She's gonna just slowly dive. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I Your eyes I, popped up like a frog and just. I'm going to use my acting skills to say, um, oh, we are the crew from ExtremeWeddings.com and we want to make your wedding as extreme as it can be. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to let, just let you succeed at that because at the moment you say that, uh, Jason Statham says, wait, what? But I'm already, I'm already married. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> I, I literally said at the start after this, so is the wife and kids. Life? I'm sorry. So he thought he was just playing. He thought he was just playing along with this fake wedding, with the but didn't realise that gay men in priest costumes mean that weddings are binding. Um, uh, hand me the pole, Dutch man, whose name I didn't catch earlier. He's, he's just the Dutch. He's just the Dutch gondola driver. Cool. Here's my card. Let's his exchange name, numbers. His name is. His name is is. Schmeichel. Um, sh- 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 yeah, Schmeichel. That'll do. Thank you. <laughs> Schmeichel the Schmutzman. The Dutch Dutchman. I'm sorry. I... Cool. Um, can I <laughs> um, use the pole to um, try and like pole vault over? Absolutely, you can. Uh, roll d12. Of course. Eleven. Do you, do you do eleven? Okay, so you also <laughs> fall in the water. Um, this is <clears throat> this is turning into an episode of an English sitcom from the nineties. <laughs> yeah, and as I go, I, I'm shouting extraction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so everybody except uh, Claude at the minute is roll is adding one to any rolls they're making for the rest of this scene. By the way, cool. Because yeah, because you're because the- you've all fallen in the water at um, some point. And then whilst I'm under, can I look to Janet? Because I imagine she'll at least have a knife or something. Um. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely not cool. a gun. But, uh, and then I'll go, uh, and that mime will stab the bottom of the boat. Don't not wank him off. <laughs> <laughs> stab the bottom of the boat. Don't not wank him off. <laughs> yeah. Is it clear from context which boat? The only one that's inflatable. <laughs> yes, the, yeah, the inflatable one. Yeah, yeah, stabbing the bottom of a gondola doesn't really get you very far. <laughs> I just I wanted to be to be certain. Listen, listen, I think I think one thing we've learned. One thing we've learned from today's session is that Nonny is not a sailor. <laughs> um. So yeah. Um. Am I able to? Uh, these weapons are weapons. Try to just apparently get get Statham into the water as well. This is now a swimming. I like the yeah. idea that you managed to convey this entire plan with both of you underwater. Yeah, uh, I, mean, I mean, I imagine working together for so long, this isn't the first time. Jason, Jason, Jason Statham, frankly, has managed to appear in Le Meg. So, like, <laughs> you just pulled out one of those underwater pens and started writing to each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Um, all right, yes, uh, yeah, uh, do one these weapons, weapons. Obviously, add <laughs> one to the dice roll, and you want less than an eight overall. That's a 10. No, okay, no, less act- than, less than an eight. <laughs> um, you accidentally stab one of the uh, the hens. So uh, well she's uh, she's bleeding out. Um, at this point, the um, the 
the the the priest is saying, "Hang on, uh, hang on, is uh, wait, are these uh, this man is already married," and he starts furiously paddling on the the um, the, the banana boat back towards shore uh, and towards what looks like his his bag with his mobile phone next to it. <sighs> Is that stay for the, the? No, that's the that's the the priest. Oh. Uh, he's he's hoping to get back and to um, call the police. Call the police that he's a bigamist. <gasps> okay. Oh. Um. So you know, in the Incredibles, <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> this is a strong segue. Go on. <laughs> I'm, 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 um, when they fall out the plane, and then the mum turns into like. A boat and just kind of paddles like no. speedboat. Oh no, it's it's Dash gets on the back and I can that, spin, yeah. Doctor. The <laughs> thing is, I think that's what James and I need to do to try and head him off at the. Okay. The um. So what you're saying is that that James is going to get on your back and then paddle with his legs using spin, Doctor. Yeah. I would. Like, <laughs> I would like to hold onto this and be holding a syringe of. Something that will knock the uh, the guy out when we arrive. So I can uh, get... Okay. Well, let's let's do let's do these in backwards order. Let's start off with um, uh, Dirk rolling for narcotics. Now you have been in the water, so whatever you have might yeah. be waterlogged. So you are adding one to that roll. So you need a five or less. I'm Syringes sure are watertight, aren't they? Uh, oh. You have rolled. You have rolled a natural twelve, so it makes no difference. <laughs> uh, I stab so... myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You, yes. You stab yourself with a, a narcotic. Uh, you have now uh, got two points for adrenaline for the rest of this. I'm just floating. Oh, up <laughs> like, oh my god! Yeah. The pun um, that's currently in the chat of man over Bordeaux. <laughs> man <laughs> over Bordeaux. <laughs> Very good. I like it. Oh, I like I'm it. Just, uh, that pouring, wins pun of the day. I'm that's... just pouring myself a little glass of wine from my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, smoking a cigarette as I watch all of you splash around in the water. Like, yeah. If they had listened to my local knowledge, I would have... <laughs> <laughs> you, you and the gondola driver are just sitting there being like, what are these English people like, eh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, who the fuck are you calling these, English, these, mate? These, these English just don't know how to... You haven't said a word. She's just They're just assuming. You the literally mo- got on the boat and then jumped in the water. Get get me to the river. It's time to do some lawyering to stop this <laughs> madness. Um, Come on, elastic girl. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, uh, spin doctor from uh, male practice. What do I have to get under? Uh, six or less. Cool. I got exactly six. Okay, cool. So I mean, unbelievably, you. I mean, you're not doing the full like you know ducktail style, just paddling the legs like this in the back. But you do. That's what you do I, he's to... imagining in his head. You are a strong swimmer, let's put it that way. Uh, you don't quite manage to head him off. I'm going to assume that that um, uh, Janet it, it at least floats a little bit. Uh, <laughs> and so between the two of you, you manage to wake up, make your way over. But he does, uh, your man, because you were very, very on the edge of succeeding, your man does just about get to the phone and dials uh, 112. I know what the number is in France. Well done, mate. Uh, um, 112. Go on. I In that case, I jump out and go... Mel practice, lawyer, and then I show him my badge. Do they have button. badges? Button. You have a button. Oh yeah, my button. Yeah, that's right, my button. Uh, and um, I say, this wedding is a sham, um, and I'm going to try and use law, law to bamboozle him um, into thinking that uh, he has done wrong in not acquiring the appropriate marriage license. All right, and the, I, uh, with your with your one to the dice roll. If you roll an eight or less on your dice, that's, um, okay, that's eight or less. I rolled a natural one. Very good. Yes. So he he looks at you and says, "But I'm not a Hindu. I thought all. Oh, you're French, isn't he? But I'm not a, a Hindu. I thought all of the marriages were binding on an Hindu. Only when there's an of- official uh, French albatross." It's an obscure law, which <laughs> luckily I know about. Uh, speaking as a speaking as a lawyer myself, I have not heard of this. But uh, you're a lawyer, not I... not a, 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 a official priest. I'm a lawyer and a priest. I'm a I'm a priest of law. That explains why but, you're not uh... wearing any trousers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we well, no, go... that is that is not that is not because of my job, but instead simply because I am French. We should uh... Uh, we should uh, <laughs> go for coffee sometime. <laughs> Yeah, I would like that uh, very much. Uh, yeah. Uh, while all of this is happening, he has dialed one one two. 
so the you know <laughs> like the i did say that didn't i i did say dialed one yeah. one two four. okay cool so the the police haven't quite heard all of this it's a little bit muffled because he's got his he's got uh he's got his, hand, his phone in his hand by his side but obviously if a phone is uh dialed to one one two for long enough the police will start to make their way over you do hear some very lyrical Parisian sirens in the distance. Yeah. Famously, all French police cars have a guy playing accordion in the back in case they need a siren. <laughs> what was I singing? Was that was I singing the theme tune for Hello Hello? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, bonjour, bonjour. It's called over there. Oh, of course. <laughs> 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 Oh. That tickled me, that. Hey, <laughs> we could see that. Um, I'm really glad you moved away from the, uh, the microphone before you laughed. That was helpful. Uh, <laughs> this is the problem with having this attached to you. Uh, okay, cool. Um, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, your, your, your man, he, he, he realises, he puts the phone down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to suggest that you guys did well enough to, to hold that off. He's got no closer to being dead. That's good. Um, uh, he hasn't had the full banana boat experience he was hoping for, of course. Um, uh, yet. Oh no, we've just we've just deflated the phone for the thing. Haven't we? <laughs> no, no, you stabbed, unsuccessfully tried. <laughs> you unsuccessfully tried and stabbed a hen. I don't know if there's any coming back from that. In that Sorry. case, uh, um, surely Claude can go and drive the boat for him to give him the full experience. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's, I I think you need to roll extreme sports, Claude. I will. Uh, if one of you could just wipe the blood off the <laughs> banana, that would be all right. Uh, M- Mel- Mel's busy getting the number of a sexy gay lawyer priest. slash priest. Yeah. And so, uh, so yeah, seeming lawyer slash priest. Dirk is applying morphine to the stab victim, which he also has in his bag of drugs. Uh, frankly, he's he is still quite high himself, mate. He, <laughs> he's not doing very well at it. Yeah, he, yeah. He, sta- he, he stabs himself with morphine. <laughs> stabs himself with he, he stabs her about seven <laughs> times <laughs> trying to find a vein. <laughs> um, I succeeded with my banana boat skills. Okay, good. I'm glad we filled the dead air while you rolled that dice. That's the important thing. Um, so, uh, uh, all right. Um, I am going to suggest then that I think Jason Statham has exactly the banana boat experience he was hoping to have alone on a banana boat with uh, his own personal tour guide as they bounce around <laughs> on the River Seine. Uh, on a on a blood stained banana boat. I don't think there's any more Jason Statham holiday uh, yeah. than that. <laughs> well, so well, I'm going to uh, allow you guys to call that one a win. That one done. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. As he as he falls off, freeze frame. <sighs> like that, and then we're gonna and we are going to. Mel spin. Mel's making out with the the priest like on on the shore. Yeah, so it's just <laughs> shooting up in the corner. Could I could I please? Call a quick time out because I need to go to the bathroom. Yeah, absolutely. We can have a little interval if you want. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a little interval. Leave the cat in your place, though, obviously. Yeah, please. Well, yeah. sure. We'll have, should we say five minutes? People can go to the toilet and uh, various other things. To me. Oh, look, t- Tim's off. Cool. Well, I'll, I'll put this on then. Be back in mm-hmm. five minutes.
one. Hello, guys. Welcome back. Um, I hope you enjoyed your your little break. Um, I can't see any of you because I'm not looking at the stream. So if um, and also because you're not on the stream, it's just us. I'm so bad at this. Uh, <laughs> Uh, guys, welcome back. Uh, we are going to move on to our third and final scene. We freeze framed, uh, people jumping in the river, people having a good time, some people getting off uh, with priests. Um, very, very much my name James's typical weekend. Uh, <laughs> we are going to move on to the final, the final scene in Jason Statham's holiday, and probably the most important thing to him, as we all know, Jason Statham is a huge fan of birds. Um, uh, What's wrong, James? I just like this is I like, like this game. <laughs> <laughs> specifically, specifically, he is a um, a massive fan of uh, of owls, and so we jump cut to uh, we see we see a, an establishing shot of the Paris Louvre owl, owl sanctuary and Sea World, uh, <laughs> uh, and then we cut <laughs> to the inside. Nice. And no the ground door. animals then. Louvre that has the Mona Lisa in, or is it? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it's, a, it's a sort of an annex. It's the Louvre oh. annex. Yeah, it's the West Wing of the Louvre. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a KFC as well. Um, <laughs> that's a, I made that joke as I found joke, but I mean, given it's an owl sanctuary, well done. Cool. That's a, that's dark. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, right. So, um, oh God. Okay. So yeah, in this last scene, there are going to be two attempts by the Wesley sniper to ruin. Uh, to ruin Jason Statham's holiday. He's already uh, shot open Jason's big bag of cocaine and sent in an, uh, a, a, a hen party to accidentally frame Jason for bigamy. This time it's going to be two. Uh, but we cut to the inside of the owl sanctuary. The door gets, boom, kicked open. Jason Statham strides in. Right! Where are the fucking owls? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> are we, are we um, there? Are, are you there? That's a good question. Are you there? Did you know he was coming here? Maybe Claude knew? I don't I know. Uh, I could roll Statham Law, see That's if I knew idea. he'd go for the owl. An eight. Yeah, I really hope you fail and have accidentally ended up in like a bird sanctuary <laughs> in Lille. You need to roll for me. Oh yeah, oh god, I'm so sorry. I forget <laughs> that you, you, you're shit. Uh, <laughs> you succeed. Uh, you do lose all of your adrenaline because you've had a chance to calm down. Um, so... Guys, if there's anything I know about uh, Jason, uh, I call him Jason. Um, it's that he loves owls. He yeah, it's, loves the owls. it's the feathers. <laughs> it is, it's the feathers. It is written in the itinerary. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was going to say the exact same thing, <laughs> but, but with a with an English accent. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to say itinerary with this, this accent. That's I true. absolutely love like Glenn going back through like months of sorry not Glenn, uh, uh, Dirk going back through like months of text looking for. Any clues? States of finding any clues, <laughs> and then go. Yes, he loves owls, and <laughs> Claude just going. Yeah, he's, yeah, it's in his itinerary. Yeah, that's, that's why we're that's why we're in front of the owl sanctuary. And we can see him. <laughs> um, so yeah, you guys, you guys are just milling around the uh, milling around receptions. Jason Statham, boom, kicks the door in. Where's the fucking owls? Uh, and the the terrified young woman in the reception goes, Monsieur, the owls they are they are currently uh, uh, on, uh, above the water. Uh, up this way, and she points up some stairs, um, and he starts to head up the stairs. Um, can we walk in slow motion? Uh, as like a like a, a an entourage behind him. Yeah, like an establishing like, shot, kind of very <laughs> Wizard yeah, of our Dogs kind what, of. What stuff. music is playing? What music is playing? Boom, 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 oh, boom, no, boom, boom. No, it can't, it can't be the it can't be the Reservoir Dogs music. It's got to be. It's got to be da, 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 da. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Brooklyn Nine Nine music. Great <laughs> chill. <laughs> 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 great, uh, great, uh, great, 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 music. It is. I'm sorry, guys. Step toe and <laughs> the steps toe and sun theme tune. Yeah. What about yakety sax? Okay. <laughs> um. All right. So yeah, in slow motion, you follow him, which is unfortunate because he's walking at normal speed. Um, <laughs> uh, uh. So he manages to make his way up to the top of the steps before you and he I, i'm gonna be honest he's having an absolutely lovely time looking at the uh the first enclosure which is a tawny owl enclosure tawny owl enclosure aren't they sexy sexiest kind of owl uh someone um, has just put a very funny comment on the live chat go on as dirk was his agent he will surely remember that of all the roles he was most upset to lose out it was hedwig <laughs> <laughs> I, Harry, you fucking um, bastards! 
Got a fa- Harry, I've got a fucking you, letter for you. <laughs> got, got a fucking owl there. <laughs> put me in a fucking cage. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Well done, whoever, whoever put that in chat. I'm, I'm, I'm very having, proud. Having learned a little bit from how we're supposed to be playing the game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think Claude would quite like to uh, acquire some dead mice. So that Jason Statham can have a go feeding the owls. Very nice. Where is he going to find these dead dead mice? That's a great question. <laughs> uh, is there the... anywhere in the room that looks like it might have dead mice? Uh... Mousetrap. Oh, oh! Can I? I could. Yeah, I could try there's... using extraction to steal some from the storage cupboard. That yeah. I like. Well done. I mean. I don't know if they keep dead mice in the storage cupboard, but I, I would think they would keep food for the owls. I think that's fair. I think the idea of just keeping <laughs> rotting ma- mice, speaking <laughs> as somebody who works as a pub manager in a very, very old building. Well, they like, put them in the fridge, obviously. Nobody wants to be around dead. Yeah, they'd be in like a freezer. Yeah. Like, like when yeah. you go to your pets at home and they have the freezers full of dead mice. In your restaurant, Tim, do you, do you not have a lot of owls that come in? <laughs> uh, we get a lot of pigeons come in, don't we, don't we Glenn? Well, we've been furloughed for a while, so yeah, it's true. <laughs> I haven't had anyone come in. I, t- I tell you, it's a very old building. At the end of the last lockdown, we came in and like, oh, it was days of work to get that place sorted. To get rid of all the dead mice. Well, <laughs> no, not so much the dead mice, but uh, somebody did accidentally turn off a freezer that was full of dead mice, meat, food, oh, and no, no, yeah, it was no. a meat freezer, and we had to clear that out, having that been was... there for a month it... without oh. ice. <laughs> yeah. Speaking as someone that has worked at an animal-based exhibit and has fed dead mice to birds there. Um, Wait, is this a character? No, no, no. Tim, the bird uh, man cometh. There we go. (laughs) Speaking as somebody... uh, I will allow allow you to use your actual knowledge, your actual local knowledge to override me. (laughs) Timothy so cool. Am I stealing the mice carcasses? Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> if you could use extraction for me, is anyone going to help her? Is anyone going to do anything that, to help her? That's a sentence I never thought I would say. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to use my local knowledge to ask the. Um, sorry, I will use my local knowledge to ask the steward at the Louvre, Sea World, and Owl Sanctuary some distracting questions. Things like, ah, but in the past. Didn't there used to be a narwhal over here by the Rembrandt? Okay, cool. Um, an owl over here, but yeah, oh yeah, because the loot is the Louvre. Um, <laughs> oh, I just throw in Thanks. these details and instantly forget them. Uh, <laughs> in that case, right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna test your local knowledge, uh, Claude. Instead, I'm just gonna assume that it, it gives a um, a plus, I think three modifier because you you're at your do you've done a good job of testing it. So Noni, roll extraction, which is a six, but you can subtract three from that roll, so it's a nine or less. So then I got a six. So yeah. So you managed to uh, extract some mouse carcasses from a side room, um, so that Claude can give Jason Statham the opportunity to hand feed a tawny owl. This is this wow. last one's really lovely. It's really like <laughs> heartwarming. <laughs> really heartwarming. Monsieur Steph, um, one of the things that we like to uh, like to uh, pride ourselves on here at Holidays with Claude is <laughs> money can't buy experiences because, of course, you are the kind of man that can buy a money can buy experience, but you <laughs> buy a money can't buy experience. So. I've stolen you some mice. To... <laughs> you're, gonna t- you're gonna tell him you've stolen the mice. I have. A, I have a special deal. <laughs> the Louvre, the Louvre, Sea World, and Owl Sanctuary Art Gallery. Um, um, right. Roll. Uh, roll. Follow me. Uh, but again, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you subtract three from the dice roll to get six or less. <laughs> In that case. I just scraped by. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, as right, as Mel adds you. another star onto the TripAdvisor review. <laughs> well, I'm going to allow you to take one of uh, of uh, Jason Statham's sad away. I think you've you've given him a, an experience of a lifetime, getting to feed, getting to throw dead animals at a live animal. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, when you put it like that. <laughs> uh, at that... <laughs> At that very moment, you hear a loud cracking sound 
uh, like the sound of sound of grass, uh, grass, glass. Excuse my inability to speak English. Uh, of glass uh, cracking under the weight of lots of water, which is about to give. Um, looking around you, you see that all of the the sort of walls that aren't you know places where people can actually walk are uh, are, are water areas. But some have some are, are, have just fish in. Uh, some have whales in, but uh, all around you is entirely made up of sea world. Um, like what? What kind of whales? <laughs> uh, beluga <laughs> whales. Beluga whales. Oh. Not blue. Beluga. Beluga whales. Um, the, the, the nice white ones that smile really cool. Can I roll <laughs> attention to detail to work out what's what's going down? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Uh, roll attention to detail for me. Cool. Uh, that is a six. Cool. You um, you notice that it looks like there have been. Uh, Little micro fissures strategically placed in the uh, the cracks around, particularly the larger enclosures where there's lots and lots and lots of water. You think that if these were to completely give way, the entire place, including both the tawny owl, the barn owl, and the pygmy owl, that's kind of owl <laughs> enclosures, are all going to be flooded. Who made this place? <laughs> 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 it's the, uh, the the same person who made that weird pyramid that they went on and on and on about in um, uh, Dan the, Brown's novel. The Vinci Code. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that same mental fucking architect. <laughs> so maybe we could find um, like the last scion of Christ if we're very clever. <laughs> I, I feel like uh, we may I, we may need to extract some birds and an actor from yeah. this situation. <laughs> I, I I agree. I say get the owls out of here. <laughs> Jason Statham notices you shout get the owls out of him and really Jason quite, yeah, in really quite a scared voice and says yeah we can't leave any owls I, <laughs> I can't let any owls die um, so Jason is actually going to help you save the owls this time around oh fabulous so we, uh, we're all, we've all got guys, like, those how are you? Gloves. how are you going to save the owls uh, bear in mind you've limited time before uh, the water goes and once the water does go it's going to start filling fairly rapidly I'd like to use my extreme sports knowledge uh, to uh, partake in the extreme sport of owl lassoing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, 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 I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Uh, it was a travesty that the Olympics didn't let that one. Mel, in. what are you doing to try and save some owls? Um, uh, oh, which which owl? Which owl? Called tawny, uh, barn, or pygmy? I will go. There is a wrong answer. I will go. I'm not going with the pygmy owl. That'd be mad. <laughs> I'm going with the barn owl. I think Very that'd good. be one of the larger owls. I yeah, would like one to one of the more lassoable owls. Yeah, I, agree. I would like to attempt to one of the other two owls. I would like to attempt to uh, drug the owl so it's more you know, sort of you know, willing to come I, with me. I mean this with the greatest of respect, Glenn. But you have more skills than just drugging things. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I, could, I could also act as an owl. To try and convince the owl that I'm an owl. Do it. Or act like a dead mouse. <laughs> so it pecks my face off. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Well, that's, 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 uh, that's Dirk's that's mind made up. That's what we're going with. Just place dead. <laughs> uh, Mel, Mel is going to use Spin Doctor to try and convince an owl um, to uh, deliver some mail to a small wizard. Very good. I'll allow it. Um, uh, yeah, that, that's it. That's all I've got. Okay. Um, can I can I attempt to entice a pygmy owl into my pocket with a dead bird? Yeah, you've got a, you've got, well, you've got a dead mouse on you, haven't you? Yeah, dead. Did I say dead bird? Yeah. <laughs> you've just started killing I mean, the owl. Just, just kill <laughs> one pygmy owl. You've, let, you've jumped let, ahead. Let the others let the others come to find their friends. <laughs> <laughs> threatening, <laughs> threatening the owl. <laughs> The greater good. Get in here, you bitch! <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Uh, I will. Uh, so, what you what do you use? Oh God, I'm, dro I'm dropping important. Oh God, I've dropped a pen. I'm so sorry. Oh, whilst he's doing that, there's, there's some of the bird puns that popped up on the chat. Oh, please. Um, uh, to, in response to Dirk drugging the owls, they said it's going to end in an owl overdose. Oh, that's exactly what the next few comments were. Tell them all that I'm owling with laughter. Oh. Oh, that ah. means tell them they're watching us. James, <laughs> I want you to tell them. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll type it into the chat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good. 
He's howling <laughs> with laughter. What's great is that's actually going to, if the delay is as much as we think it is, that's going to come up before Claudia We talk about it. <laughs> uh, any, other, any other puns we've got on there, uh, James? Think, uh, no, no, none worth oh, okay. talking about. You, 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 you <laughs> Has said, anyone you called you plural. a blue tit, James? No. C can, can we call but, you a blue tit? But they are making a lot of references to the WKD that's just kicked in. <laughs> <That's all> right. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, I'm, not, I'm going to allow all of those, cool. but I think for every failure, I think that um, uh, Jason Statham's going to get quite sad. Okay, fair. I think he's going to get sad every time you fail to save an owl and then kill an owl. In fairness, I think I, we're going to get sad I that think, the owls die. I think every <laughs> one of your interventions, if you fail, will kill the owl. I think I don't think any of you are trying an intervention that will leave an owl alive. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> with the possible exception of... <laughs> of Dirk, who might accidentally save about 12 owls, but Dirk also might get, might get killed pecked to death. Yeah. <laughs> so don't succeed too well. <laughs> uh, right. Let's start, let's start with Dirk. We're going to roll you for failed actor. Uh, and you have failed. Um, so they, they, they land on your body, um, uh, wondering why this creature is, is playing dead. And the the moment that the water cracks, it uh, it's you know you get hit by a wave of water coming out of the, the beluga whale uh, <laughs> uh, exhibit. Uh, Do I at least save are, the whale? You are just about big enough uh, to avoid getting swept away in the wave. But the three uh, what was it the owl you were going for? Tawny owls sitting Let's on say, you yeah. get dragged away by the water. Sadly, they died. They have died. Jason Statham has got quite a lot sadder at that. Oh, that's a bad roll. Defeated by my the, hubris. The, the... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's been waiting to say that for so long. <laughs> Ever That's since the original owl puns came up. Oh, God. <laughs> it's the beak of his career. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. God. oh, I would have picked a different <laughs> thing if, if I'd known. Um, uh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. You get hit by a beluga whale, which obviously is, is drowning. But but Jason Statham doesn't care about beluga whales, as far as he's concerned. They're a scourge and should die. So, um, uh, uh, Mel, you are. What are you doing? I'm again? trying to entice them away with a spin. With doctor. my spin so doctor, I'm trying to like. Mm. I I'm going to make you a, a, add one to your role because I suspect I I, th I think that yeah the owls aren't the most um uh, the friendliest bunch are they they're, they're quite standoffish so did you fail yes I got an eleven with that plus one okay so you could say uh, I'm too wet to woo <laughs> uh, you've been you've been waiting even longer than than Glenn don't you? yeah. <laughs> Does it upset you that you got much worse reaction than he did? No, I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like you probably had that one in your back pocket since the banana boat. <laughs> it's true, it's true. I, I, I've been sat here for some time googling owl puns. Yeah, hoping, <laughs> hoping that owls would enter the conversation at some point. <laughs> the um, only reason we're playing this game... I, know, I just think you were hitting on the priest while you were soaking. Uh, oh god, that's bad. Okay, um, that's another really bad role. Um, yeah, so Jason Statham sees that you have... Uh, uh, you've instead of actually trying to save an owl, you just tried to fuck until it they, until they died. <laughs> uh, he himself, with all of the practice grace of a man who does his own stunts, dives into into the tawny owl enclosure and, as a friend to the animals that he is, manages just to hold his arms out like this. And three owls land on one of his arms, another owl lands on the other. Like he opens up Cinderella. His, he opens, yeah, like Cinderella. He opens up his his long leather coat, like like Neo from the fucking Matrix, and they jump in, and he 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 runs out. So he's made his way out. Uh, on his way out, Nonny is attempting to remind me what you were doing. Uh, I was Danny. enticed pygmy owls into my pocket with a dead That's right. mouth. Yep, you do. You and do I am extracting them. Yep. From the dangerous situation. I would have gone with these hands of weapons because you're, you're letting them come towards you and try to pluck them out. I, I rolled the Okay, okay. Them. You know I'll what? You... I'll say I, I'm, I'm happy to be persuaded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. I'm happy, um, yeah. Which one's higher? I got a three. So, yes, fantastic. So, so yeah, yeah the, the three or four pick me owls in the enclosure, they're, they're in Nonny's pockets. I'm assuming she, sorry, in Janet's pockets. And she uh, 
makes her way out of the swiftly flooding uh, mm-hmm. space, which includes also a guy halfway through fucking an owl <laughs> up to his up to his knees in water, and a guy curled up in a ball with a beluga whale next Big. to him. Uh, <laughs> yet, yet another adventure where Mel gets absolutely drenched, <laughs> but does get a lot of sex. I was going to say we didn't we didn't talk about the drenching that happened after the freeze frame last time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, finally, Claude. Yes. Claude has decided uh, what he wants to do, and he's going to try to save his. Yes. I'm going to use uh, one of the velvet ropes that stop you getting too close to the art, and I will <laughs> make a lasso, and I'm going to get that bloody barn owl. It's a really key <laughs> role. You're using extreme sport, aren't you? Yep. What'd you roll? Uh, nine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I've rolled four. very badly in this game. Use yeah, a different dice. I, I suspect <laughs> that this game is more fun when rolls go badly than when they go well. Um, <laughs> can you imagine just uh, us spending a, an hour and a half just have watching Jason, uh, uh, me play Jason Statham having just a genuinely nice time? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> like, I'd love that. T- <laughs> Essentially, instead of lassoing an owl, you've just managed to hang one. Yeah, 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 exactly. You you pluck one out of the air, whip it down with your with your your stanchion. That's the word, isn't it? Yeah. Well done. Uh, um, and uh, and accidentally drown an owl with a a, a rope around his neck. Now that has, even though Jason Statham has managed to escape with some owls, he manages to make his way outside guess i'm guessing followed by you but at that moment you rolled the exact amount of numbers you needed for jason statham to be sad and i now need to check what happens if jason statham hits sad i mean we have to kind of debate really over which of the kind of three failures which of the owls had the worst fate <laughs> <laughs> i don't think that that's that's something I, we need to know at all. I, I think I think the one that was strangled and then drowned by a lassoing Frenchman is. Uh, no, yeah, no, you're that's right. Just, that's just cool, cool, cool. Little punishment. <laughs> that's the you. wrong oh. bird. <laughs> uh, right, Rams. When he is sad. Which roof Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> right. It's not. It's not the best one. The, be- the best one is if he gets bored, where he calls his mum, who is played by Helen Mirren, to come pick him up. Oh, I, I would that. like to have heard you I, do that accent. I no, I wouldn't have done it. I would have uh, private messaged James and told him to play the role so that we could. Actually what accent does she have? Is she Scottish? No, she is also in East Ender. Just you yeah. just need Queen's to find English. either um... Peggy Mitchell. Either yeah. way, it's not. Ha- it's not happening. So no, it's, it's right. Fast and Furious. Um, Jason Jason Statham makes yeah. his way outside. Runs out of the the now flooding Louvre, uh, <laughs> Louvre Owl Sanctuary and Sea World Annex, uh, and falls to his knees, breaking down into tears as several tawny owls eject themselves from his overcoat. Uh, at that exact moment, at that exact moment, the police have arrived. I'm just going to roll some dice very quickly. Yep, okay. Uh, the police have arrived. I made a decision in advance what those three roles would be, and they've all gone badly. Uh, and uh, several police officers get out of their cars, pointing their guns at Jason Statham, shouting, You're under arrest! Sorry, you are under arrest for the kidnap of several owls from this owl sanctuary. <laughs> Um, oh boy, I sure wish we had a spin, Doctor. Don't worry, I've got a button. <laughs> <laughs> Broke my thing. Bear in mind, right now, Jason Statham is breaking down in, in tears, and there are also several journalists on scene picturing Jason Statham in tears. It's a PR okay. disaster. That's why I'm here. I'm a lawyer. I'm spin doctor, and I'm running out with wet knees. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. What I, are you actually doing? I'm walking out, and what? And I say. Thank God, police officers and fellow journalist people, you're here to witness the hero, Jason Statham, who, on this tragic event, managed to save a number of owls from a very poorly constructed Louvre (laughs) Annex. (laughs) Yes. Art gallery slash owl sanctuary slash sea world. Yes, but despite (laughs) some of the owls being crushed by a beluga whale... (laughs) And one of them accidentally being strangled to death. <laughs> and one, which I don't really want to talk about right now, 
<laughs> Jason managed to rescue these birds. And look, look at the poor effect it's had on him. This poor, misunderstood hero. I will. I think you've done a really good job there, James. Thanks, mate. Thanks, James. Uh, I improvised really that. Nailed that. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah. We're just winging it. Hey! <laughs> I just thought of that. It's, I mean, for somebody who improvised it, it sounds suspiciously similar to the script I sent you earlier, but that's fine. Sorry? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I will allow you to subtract, subtract, subtract three from your roll when you roll to see if you convince anybody. Well, if I subtract so, three from that roll, I get a zero. Oh, well done. You have absolutely nailed it. The, the, the police officers, they drop their guns break out into a round of applause. Not for you, but for Jason. No, I don't, that's what I wanted. And then I get um, my phone out and start playing uh, Enrique Iglesias' uh, hero. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Um, uh, what, what model of phone is it? Um, it's one of those waterproof ones. Okay, cool. Oh, that, I mean, I was, I was just, is it one of those ones with a really good speaker? Oh, yeah. It's or, really... is it, or is it quite quiet? So only the two police officers who are staying near you sort of give you like a, yeah, all right, well done. Bit, bit. I, I, so I, I go to the police officer and go, can I just connect this Bluetooth up to your, <laughs> your car quickly? No, no, but the, uh, the, the accordion player in the back of the car. The accordion. He's, play, he's playing Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> I can be your hero on the accordion. Uh... And then Claude comes out, starts singing along. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll allow that. I'll allow that. Um, uh, no, you know, I, so one thing I will point out about your speech is you did mention the murder of several birds by several members of your coterie. Uh, no, I mentioned the accidental death. All right, I've been lawyered. <laughs> Do you um, law, law, law. So, um, Jason Statham is still obviously distraught. So you've you've at least managed to convince the police and the journalists that he's not a. a a kidnapper of birds, but a savior Jason is distraught at the uh, so while James is convincing them, how do you guys, how do the rest of you, um, try to I, 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 I right now? This is this is what is going to make or break Jason Statham's holiday right now. Whether he feels like, I... go on. So, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on the nursery teacher voice, I'm gonna crouch down and I'm gonna be like, hey, Jason, hey, hey. Hey, do you want to see something really, really cool? And I get one of the pygmy owls out my pocket. I just go, hey, look, do you want to cuddle him? His name's Jason Jr. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, I will let you roll on extraction, given that it came out of your pocket. <laughs> Small tears just gone down my face. <laughs> yeah. I got a six exactly. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Uh, Jason Statham goes, this out for me mm -hmm. oh my god i love him but he can't be called jason jr i think i'm gonna call her stacy jafem <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful beautiful end of the story uh, that's what jason yeah, would no. do it's what jason would do <laughs> uh guys I, I think i think you've just saved jason's extremely specific uh holiday plans <laughs> uh yeah we were we were going to we had a, we had a, a hard cut off uh for today because we don't want to ruin uh waste anyone's time sorry we don't want to excessively waste any of our viewers time um so we were going to call it at either either sort of quarter past half past uh eight no matter what so that is the we made the decision i did have just in case we got through this rather quicker than intended uh one where he took the Eurostar home and somebody played a heartbreaking family film on a monitor uh <laughs> Uh, but um, the, the question, yeah, I was going to say the question, uh, Claude Eurostar, is uh, how would you find uh, making sure that he had a good time on his way home on the Eurostar? It would be very difficult because for legal reasons, I'm not allowed on the Eurostar. <laughs> that's nothing to do with the, 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 that, the, your backstory, is it? It's, it? That was the flashing incident, right? Yes, I shut in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, um, let's start by I'm going to thank um, all of um, our, our players, all of our players for, for coming down. I want to thank uh, Dirk McFury for uh, incapacitating himself in the Seine while trying to drug a woman on a hen do. I think <laughs> a um, wild holiday. Sure. That is uh, it's for you, maybe. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I want to thank uh, Janet Lane for attempting to to 
dolphin spear uh, <laughs> a priest and just jumping in a, in a lake uh, I want to thank Claudia Ostar for nearly being French. I think that that's probably the best way of phrasing it. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to thank Mel Practice for finding every single definition of the word spin uh, <laughs> uh, across the course of saving this holiday. I also want to thank all, uh, f I think, five of our viewers. This is very much a test run. Uh, we, we didn't I think only me and James even mentioned it online. I think uh, Tim uh, Tim Peace mentioned it very briefly as well. So five is a lot more than we were expecting. Uh, this is a dry run for what we're trying to do, what we want to do. Obviously, we are in lockdown during a miserable coronavirus crisis, and it looks like it's only going to get worse and not better. So particularly for, I think, three of us, uh, this is literally the only thing we have going for us right now uh, and if when Glenn's girlfriend finally breaks up with him it'll be four of us uh, <laughs> so uh, seriously guys thank you so much for, for coming and watching us we, we really do appreciate it we really love it um, we're going to try and do one of these every Sunday night like I said we won't all five of us be on every single one of these we're going to try and have a rotating guest of uh, a rotating cast of, um, of guests uh, we're going to rotate who's running it I'm not going to run it every week sometimes I'll be doing stupid accents uh, and have stupid backstories and just try and have a lovely time and try and enjoy ourselves we're going to put it on YouTube because I don't I personally don't use anything Amazon we were thinking about Twitch but I don't do anything, Amazon. Uh, any other wrap up to do before we tell people um, to get on with their lives? Yes, thank you, Tim, for being our first. Uh, I'd say SM. Our first, SM. Our yeah. First. Uh, Sado masochist. Sado masochist, <laughs> um, and an awesome uh, kind of games master host for the first one. Thank you, man. You are awesome. Um, and if anyone has any uh, wants to play or wants to like be part of it, um, feel free to um, like follow us on Twitter. I guess we can all promote our Twitters if people give a crap. They're yeah, following us already. Um, I'm at James Benison uh, eighty eight. Uh, if you've got any ideas, um, just yeah, tweet me and I'll make it make it so. Yeah, James is very much the man to follow. I think for most of this, but uh, I'm I'm at Tim Ballantine, Ballantine like the the whiskey. Uh, I lock I lock my Twitter account because I'm very sad all of the time, and I don't want my employees to see. So uh, uh, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. Um, uh, Anybody else want to plug themselves? I'm I at do not have Twitter. So, say that again without being oh. talked over Nonny. <laughs> uh, I'm at Nonny Plod, N O N I P L O D. Um, and I mostly tweet about my cat. That's a good one to follow. It's a great cat. Yep. Uh, I am at, so this is just the, the really awkward bit where we're all like, don't want to jump in. I'm at Timothy underscore Goose. Um, yeah, follow me if you want. It's mainly quite bland. Um, if anyone knows how to line up uh, individual with, with <laughs> if anyone, if anyone knows graphic design, we let James handle all of this. I put that together in ten minutes, but you can't tell. Yeah, it looks we like can this. tell. What? what? I just thought it would took two. Look, I made some last minute adjustments, and I think it looks a lot better than the original one I showed yeah, I you guys. That's decent for two minutes. That's shoddy work for ten. <laughs> 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 um, yeah so uh, anyway guys uh, yeah like i said any any ideas for games you'd like us to play or themes uh um at least two of us on here are real proper systems thinkers so if you think you'd like to see us fuck about and do something really dumb let, let us know i've got a shitload of ideas for As do the coming week I. Um, it might not always be at this time you might mess it up mess it up <laughs> mess around a bit so keep <laughs> Follow we the will mess it up. We will definitely mess it up. So we might not be yeah. there when we say we will. Yeah, for, no, we will. Uh, very, very <laughs> not like we, give us like a, we'll give you a day's notice. But like follow, follow the the subscribe to the I don't know what YouTube you do. channel. YouTube channel. Subscribe yeah. to our YouTube channel. Yeah, why not? Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh yeah, do that mm -hmm. too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and if you liked it, tell people about it. This is literally the most professional I've ever felt, and I have done a <laughs> comedy show with you, James. <laughs> That is not professional. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was his. Uh, it was his show. He had it. <laughs> yeah, uh, guys, thank you so much for coming. It's been a. It's been an absolute pleasure having you. Um, I, I really appreciate all the really good chat stuff. Um, even if I did have to hear it through James's voice. Uh, see you guys next week. Uh, I think we we we're talking about what we're going to do next week, but we definitely have three three or four or five really really good ideas. It's going to be a long time before we run out, which means you have a long time before you have to get bored of us. See you guys next time. Have a good one. Thank you so much for coming by. Bye. Oh, God, no.